take them up so I make sure they, they fit when they go back in. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want them to have to fight them later when they when they need um, when they're all covered with putty. And so this is the whiting and the linseed oil again, right? Yeah, this is the um, whitening. So what kind of consistency are you looking for? Uh, well, I look, I look for maybe two things in two different parts. Like over here, I don't want it too hard when I press the glass in. Mm -hmm. that, that's one, one thing. Then the other thing, maybe a little tough try to, to make a nice bead. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't like use old putty to set the glass if it's, if it's already hard. Because when you press the glass, you can break it. I like it to be good. But if it's nice and soft and you press the glass in, it like squirts it out and makes a nice a bed mm -hmm. and a seal. And that's really what we want. Back to you. Is that, that okay? Oh, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> So those are the little points that help hold the glass in place, right? So they they go they're driven in and the little point, but that way there. There are others that homeowners could buy that some of them like little triangles, some of them little triangles where they um, little lip on them. I have some of those kicking around too that so not everybody would have a, a tool to drive the point. But if you do a few of them, they're fast, a lot faster. Because mm -hmm. they'd be put in with a screwdriver and a hammer and they'd have a flat edge rather than a point. Mm -hmm. And so when you prime the sashes, you said that you use a, an oil-based primer where the where the putty is going to sit, so that yeah. the linseed oil attaches to it better. Yeah, even on and on the exterior, even under the latex, we still use an oil primer. Okay. That, that was recommended uh, too. That if you, if you clean it down and you, you put an oil primer, because the latex is like a jacket, kind of like a, like a raincoat, like kind of sits on top, mm -hmm. the oil will kind of go inside. Yeah. So it's nice to get the oil as a primer. After that, 
after the oil dries, you can put in the latex. So that's I've been doing it that way. That's what I did on the grace on the Baptist church. The same way. All the windows were done that way. Mm -hmm. I primed them here with oil and then they went over and they put latex, exterior latex on and a good um, latex interior too. But I, most of the time I had primed, I think all the time I had primed both sides with the oil primer. And this would, these windows are primed with the oil primer. Mm -hmm. And so the, the oil primer is just like, it sinks into the, into the wood and then it's also a little more flexible too, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the latex come a long way. The oil, the technology isn't in the oil paint anymore. It's all in the, the latex. The latex is a lot better. In here, it makes a nice, a nice bed. Yeah. For the for the glass, and there's moisture and everything comes down in the condensation. So that it's good. You have to keep it uh, a seal on, kind of on both sides. It's not just the the, the big putty that shows. Mm -hmm. Outside putties chasing the water off the glass, but the inside gets condensation. Mm -hmm. And this putty with a little oil in it, because I put linseed oil on top of it. If I'm not using a lot of it, it dries out on the top. Okay. So I kind of put a little bit of extra oil on the top and then dry it out with the with the whitening. Gotcha. Because it keeps it from throwing, you know, because if it's not, it dry out and then you have to throw it away. If you buy a bigger quantity, you don't want to lose it. Oh, that's smart. Oh, yeah, you get the right consistency of the, and that's just like mixing cement. You know, you can mix it a little tighter, you can mix it a little looser. And these are the ones, the windows, the sashes from the Roach Jones Duff coating. Mm -hmm. The ones that we, we put pegs in the corner the last night. Yeah, yeah. These are stained windows. Are you going to, are you going to paint these as well, or are you just going to give them I'm to them primed? Yeah, I, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna paint the outside. I have the paint. Okay. I procured the paint. It's uh, kind of a um, kind of a cream color uh -huh. that they're using on the windows. The inside paint I don't know. It was the old paint that was on them. If they if they're doing any restoration or renovation in there, if they would uh, have a different color or. Mm -hmm. 
is on the inside is I can turn it over and show you what it is. It's not a bad color, but I don't I don't have it. I if they do I mean I could paint it or they have a um, a nice maintenance man there that he may be looking for something to do. I don't know when I bring them back. Because I have five windows. So I have these are to be ten sash, so we have we've only just started with this. Plus those other ones that we were saying about on the ends of the building. Yeah, yeah. And so are are you doing all of the windows in the second floor of the of the Cushman's house? These are all on the second floor, yeah. That's um, five five windows that hadn't hadn't been done in a long time, I imagine. Mm -hmm. I looked at it. to get money for restoration you know, that part of the deal you know that how that works right? yeah i think i think they've applied for some cpa funds mm -hmm. but, uh, but that, the coachman house i i had never even seen inside mm -hmm. the, the other windows in the attic i did all the windows in the attic and the cupola windows uh huh. Uh, a few years ago, but these I had never, I didn't know anything about the the coachman house. Are there are there is there a an apartment in the first floor as well or just? No, it's a greenhouse. Okay. And uh, there's like a room downstairs where they have meetings. Okay. The, they do have meetings there now and then and. There's the garden club people. They do most of the stuff in the downstairs, the garden club. Mm -hmm. I haven't I haven't gone to the grounds of the Rochin's Duff House yet. Oh, yeah. That was that was going to be a thing that I was gonna do this summer, but <laughs> Well you can do it. it the grounds are always open. You can just walk in. They just have a sign on the on the fence that you're welcome to come in in these hours, but you wear a mask and social distance. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So you, anybody can go in. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that they had opened it up. I'll have to go check it out. They have, yeah. They have. A, this was when I picked up these windows. I seen it, but I seen it. It was already a while ago. Mm -hmm. Almost since they closed the museum, then they left the garden. Kind of open because you can walk in anytime anyway it's not locked mm -hmm. but you are invited to go and they have a little thing that they're doing i've seen on the where people are welcome to come bring their own lunch and sit in the garden or on the patio oh that's nice and that the restrooms will open on these hours if anybody oh that's that's really nice well, it's, you know, it's always been a, like a neighborhood kind of thing for, uh -huh. for us. It's ever since we've been here for right from the beginning that working on there, it was always like a nice thing. And in the past, when it was always nice when they had music. And so yeah. They had folk music in the garden. They had bands. They had jazz. They had all kinds of things in, in the garden in the evening for a price. They mm -hmm. had a price for, for members and... For anybody, a couple of bucks more with anybody could go. And you'd sit outside on the lawn with the to bring your with own bring your own refreshments and picnic, whatever you wanted, and listen to the music in the evening. Usually it was on a Friday. Oh that sounds lovely. It's always wonderful. But that kind of stopped now for yeah. sure, like for everybody else it's a problem. Yeah. That was a small folk festival on just Center Street, and then later it got bigger, and now it got bigger. Yeah, and then originally it started 
at this folk festival at the university. Uh huh. That was there for years. This, um, this Irish, there was more a lot of Irish and folk music and stuff in the, at the university. That sounds. That sounds nice. And then that kind of, I guess the old the professor who was doing it got to be too much, or he retired, and then it was picked up later on in Center Street, and then it was picked up again. And and in this, this not down winter time, there was the folk music was at the um, Warm Soda Club. Okay. On a Friday night, the once a month. And, and so, so this is whiting again, and so you're doing this, this to that, kind of dry. That's the only thing is whiting and linseed oil. Mm -hmm. And so this will kind of help it to dry. Yeah, and it cleans the glass too. Okay. Because if you let this oil set uh -huh. on the glass, you you would have a a time trying to clean it. Okay. And in the putty, you can't be bringing water and stuff to the putty for a while. Mm -hmm. So you end up with this stuff, and it comes off a lot easier with the whitening. You clean it right up. And it just, it's just a, the oil just being absorbed by it in, the, um, in, the, in the whitening, and that's it. And so this will take two, three days to dry before you can paint it? Yeah, okay. it will, and then it'll get hard. Uh -huh. I can show you the one that we did a few, a few weeks ago, how okay. hard the putty has become. Yeah. This one over here, because I showed you the one that we were doing was from the firehouse in Fall River. Yep. And now I got the other one and I'm working, I'm rebuilding it because it's really a, a disaster oh. with all rotted. And so we're, uh, I'm making this window. I can show you that. So I can open the other window and show you, open the other door and show you that side. And then I can show you how hard the, um, the putty is in a few weeks. That one's been prime. Now we get most of it cleaned off. And do you prime the putty before you paint it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and it's oil too, so uh -huh. I use the um, oil primer. Okay. Because these are linseed oil putty, so it's a lot of times I think of the oil in the water, maybe not so compatible. Mm -hmm. so, so on this putty, it's better to use oil. And I can, I'll clean that up a little bit better. But it, it's pretty good. Right? Yeah. It's yeah, that looks, that looks really nice. So that's all done. You can punch it and it's, it's hard. Now they put yeah. the fingerprints in the other one, but this is already hardened. It's gonna harden some more, but it's a lot. Mm -hmm. And it takes a little while because it's oil drying out. It's not not like water. Like latex putty is entirely different. It bonds entirely different. It looks really nice. And it's gonna that's only primer, so it's gonna get another coat, or two coats probably of latex on top of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks, that looks really nice.